Hello everybody, it is Jesus Primus and I'm back with the United Benelux. Let's see what happens. We are entering 1913, we are in September already. 1914 is coming. Which means uh, with a little bit of what I'm just going to call uh, insights, World War One will be upon us pretty soon. Which is a uh, bad thing once it starts ha happening. Two. I don't want to get my early artillery too as quickly as I can because strangely enough artillery actually matters in this conflict and the plan to take Bonn and Cologne out from under them still seems to be almost doable not actually doable just almost doable alrighty let's start looking at my high command guys Could go for the tanks. Do I have anything decent up here? Ick. Well, a bunch of things that I don't particularly like doing. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Quartermaster because building some things a little bit faster is better than nothing. Let's continue. Now, we want to smack Germany silly, uh, largely because there's no way in hell we can uh, take on Paris and France anytime soon. Take Paris and take on France anytime soon, you know what I mean. Alrighty daddy. We're doing all of this just to try and get to that to get the well, military factory down there, because I love free factories, and also for rearmament, basically. United people doesn't look bad. We'll be heading down there uh, as soon as we can. However, I think it's actually time to either uh, do our charity focus to fortify our borders or get around to choosing a side. Um, I'm going to go with neutrality focus, even though it gives us a neutral foreign policy. Um, Germany is going to have to declare war on us. They will nine times out of ten. I want to be ready. If suddenly Germany doesn't actually declare war on us in this one, I'm going to be very salty. I question what the hell is wrong with this game. Alrighty. Good, we have improved infantry equipment already dealt with. Making a quick book of airplanes just because I like airplanes. I'm gonna go over here and get the doctrine for them. Doctrines are kind of important. Even though I can't even make airplanes yet. Yay. Well, I could, I just don't have the factories to do so. Because that's my life. Alrighty. Maybe use submarines and tanks, man. Yet. What do we got on the other side? We're up to date. That's good. I hate being out of date. Good to know. Good to be. Ah. Land doctrine, we gotta get a little bit more hard attack. Or we can get a little bit more soft attack. Now, in World War One, having soft attack is pretty fucking useful. Because most things coming at you are, uh, soft. Strangely enough, it's a lot of infantry. Hmm, I wonder why. Um, so I'm gonna go for mobile defense. Even though I argue probably should be the other way around for two, but I'm, I'm just gonna shut up now. No, that's not good. Well, at least we were not up to Metz levels of Germans on our border. Because, jeez. Oh, it does make sense. They're clearly not uh, following the Schlieffen Plan's troop maneuvering. Even though they're probably going to implement the Schlieffen Plan on us anyway. Because, Germany. 
Uh, going with the tank, guys, just because it's one of the few things we have left, and I love to fill it all up. Makes things easier. That way, when I actually get around to having tanks, they'll be good. Or just, you know, not suck. Whichever one comes first. I'm going to take one good look at my infantry division and see if it's actually worth using. Sadly, we don't really have the artillery production to just willy-nilly add more artillery units. Uh, that being said, I'm going to add an infantry division and look in here. Yeah, just adding an infantry division to the template would be good, as it gives us about 9 per, and the Germans have about mm, somewhere between 6 and 9 per on this version of a unit, and who knows what are some of the other ones. Hopefully will be more or less evenly matched in terms of actual infantry on the ground. They're probably going to have more artillery than us, though. It's just a fact. We have low manpower at the moment, which we'll uh, solve sooner or later. Or later or sooner. The good news is they still just are not putting enough men between me and Cologne. Unless, of course, the Germans have so much more artillery than me, this border doesn't matter. We're going to just get smacked back at Brussels. That could happen. Alrighty, it's December of 1913. Archduke has still not been shot down in Bosnia. Which is good. And all is relatively peaceful in the world at the moment. Probably not for long, though. As we focus on maintaining our own neutrality and getting fucking dug in. Because I can tell the German horde is coming. And I do not fancy being invaded this time around. We're trying to keep most of the fighting in Germany, not Belgium. We'll see how well that works. I doubt it will. I'd love to have another couple military factories. Anytime soon on that one. Uh, there should be one coming up. Hopefully. Yes, we have one. Excellent. That means I can get working on planes. Unless I determine I really need support equipment. I might. I'm going to go for planes just so that I actually have an Air Force. Because uh, we all know that Air Forces are useful in Hearts of Iron, no matter what version you play as. Hopefully, we should be able to supply a decent amount of air support. I hope. The reason why is that my entire country is in one zone. It means I can slow down the German offensive. A little. Inferring I can get air superiority in that zone. Which, who knows. The real problem is we have 75% national unity. Which isn't the best, um, but it's not terrible. I'd much prefer having a little bit higher. But we'll see what happens here. But as you can tell, yeah, we, we did the neutral thing. I have a funny feeling they're coming for our uh, neutrality anyway. And I only did that to get enough uh, fortifications to slow the Germans down even more. Because we need a whole league. Actually, not really in this game. Uh, they don't take into effect the fact that there is a massive rail line that goes from League to Paris. Right through here. I sort of ignore it. Syria white peace the Ottomans. Uh, which means that the... Uh, 
War in the Balkans is over. I believe this is the first Balkan War. Although it might have already included the second, because that's just the Balkan Wars for you. And, yeah, the Balkans look how they usually do. Serbia and Bulgaria actually get a bunch of land back. Albania exists. And the Ottomans are relegated to being the poor man of Europe again. Ha. Huh. Uh, it will not go well for them. Ah, the Treaty in London. The Balkan League is victorious. Huzzah. Well, I don't exactly know how we'd feel about that. How many planes do I have? I have one plane. Yeah, I'm not fielding a uh, flight squadron of just one plane. I don't care how cool this plane is or how long it's taken to get here. Come on. Oh, we're still in February. Around July to August is when the war usually breaks out, but it could break out a little bit sooner. I am taking some concern in the fact that the Germans are moving along my border. Namely, they have a little bit of buildup up there. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. That being said, there is a gaping hole from Roermond to Cologne. If I had tanks, I could get there quickly. We'll see what happens. Where that stayed a little while. I'll add another one to military supplies because we need them badly. Thank you all for watching, by the way. Uh, this is going to be probably continued in a couple of parts, depending on how well we do. And uh, your continual support is noted. And I like it a lot. Um, we're going to go for democratic influence, because I believe we're trying to stay a democratic nation. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's not go authoritarian here, guys. It's Belgium. Constitutional monarchy. Come on, people. We'll go for the early artillery too, right there. That might save us. Might not. Let's go over to these bits. Do we have all the important parts of 1914? No, we don't. We need gas masks. Hurry. Yeah, it's March still. Well, it's just March. It was February. If we were lucky, maybe, just maybe, I will uh, get everybody to stop training on time. At just the right time, such that when the war actually breaks out, we have some idea of what our plans actually are. Looking at you, Austria Hungary. You who couldn't even, you know. Get your plan for invading Serbia down. Tisk tisk. Twenty fourth of March. Come on, everybody. Come on. I'm hoping the Brits and, and the French back here uh, come and support me because I do not know if I can actually defeat the Germans. I'm gonna suspect I can't. With them, I probably can. We're in April. I'm gonna strongly consider uh, taking these guys off training right now. Um, I think I'm gonna do that in June, which gives me another military factory to play with. Yay! I so love playing with military factories. You should all know that by now. Well, for another one of our airplanes, because man, I need me some airplanes. I've invested too much into airplanes to not have airplanes. Okay. They finally got wind of, uh. No, who am I kidding? They're just marching around troops seamlessly. Ah, uh, the AI. Another military factory? My lucky day. 
I'm gonna go for another one at making uh, either support. I could go for support equipment, or I, should, or I should probably go for artillery. I'm gonna go for artillery. That solves that. We're mostly over to the correct, the correct gun, I think. Yes, I believe we are getting there slowly. But surely. Hmm. It's still April. I'm not going to flip yet. I'm going to take one good look at what the hell is happening in Africa. We can't see anything in Germany, but that doesn't mean there's not an army there. It probably means there is an army there. They're just hiding. Probably in Dar es Salaam. Or Angola. Whichever comes first. Ooh boy, free speech. Again, only really going that far down that tree because free military factories. I need them. A non-aggression pact with Romania? Why not? We can use friends. I don't know why they are uh, so friendly to me. Trading with me? Perhaps they are. Hmm. Well, I'm not importing anything from Romania, am I? I'm not importing anything. What is this madness? Huh. Maybe they were just good buddies. Who knows? What were they importing rubber to kill me with? That's my rubber. Pretty sure half the rubber in Europe right now is my rubber. Seven fighters is still not enough to make a wing of. Fifteen is about the right number. Thirty would make me happy. I'd do it without even questioning. Alright, it's late May. I should probably take these guys off of March of that. Just that they actually understand what the hell their orders are. We are hopelessly outnumbered. That's not good. Yeah, the German army seems to have uh, noticed that uh, Belgium is uh, here, which is terrible. We want them to not notice us. I'm not feeling good about this one. I'm going to go for the infantry equipment. Then we'll get another support equipment next. I know, so boring. These things are important. Uh, it's less one sided than I thought it would be. Now, roughly equal. And I like the fact that we have this bonus to attacking across rivers because there are rivers They're in the way. We finally figured out what an air squadron is before we even have a single plane actually fielded. Good job, guys. Um, I'm not going to bother with strategic bombing bonuses right now. We are uh, well off that actually applying to anything. So I'm going to tell this research slot to go for something a little more useful. If I can't figure out any of that, I will go tell it to... Hmm... Whether I ambulances is pretty useful here. I can certainly use it. Figure out what cars are. And figure out how we can use them for war. Ah, oh, shit. That's an armored car division, isn't it? Great. That's gonna be a bitch. Well, that's not a good sign. We're in June. 
again. No Archduke shut down Bosnia. Lucky us. Ah, shit, I spoke too soon. Uh, France Ferdinand is dead. Well, that's not good. France Ferdinand, the esteemed Archduke of Austria Este, and the Crown Prince of the Austro Hungarian Empire, lies dead. His noble wife rests beside him. Franz Joseph has lost yet another heir, and to damned vile sons of bastards that are Serbians. The Serbian government officially denies involvement with the assassin. Um, and they blame the Black Hand, who were a terrorist organization at the time, and we've sent compensation demands to the Serbians. Well, we have them. The Austrians have. We're reading this in the foreign news and going, oh no. Prep the waffle irons. We're going to war. <laughs> Maybe. That's probably not what they're actually saying. Something along those lines. Don't tell me we don't use waffle irons. I know we do. <laughs> okay. Jokes aside, I can certainly use some more support equipment. I can always use some more support equipment. It's the damn shame about this. That's 11 divisions right there. Guys, you know you're not going to break through so easy down here. Why are you putting so many men here? <sighs> Yeah, 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 the AI is silly sometimes. Ah, uh, crap. It looks like they've started World War One. It's just Austria-Hungary at war with Serbia right now. And Germany's at war with me and Luxembourg. And Luxembourg doesn't even exist! Great. I've called in the United Kingdom. Because, uh, save me, please, and France, and the Russian Empire, and Montenegro, and, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's time for World War One, guys. I'm going to, uh, tell our generals to get going, and we're already having a battle at Melman D here, and another one that we're actually winning. Guys, we are winning a battle. Look at it. It's green. Ridiculous. Who the hell is in charge? Oh. Von Galwitz. Why is Von Galwitz in charge over you? Sorry, I know German generals too well. I'm gonna let time keep ticking. And, uh, France, save me. Please. And that grand and glorious battle that we were winning? Yeah, no, it's a stalemate. Ah, no, no, mm, yeah, yeah, we might be winning. We could win it. Oh, boy. Serbia refuses Austrian demands. Yeah, I think I noticed. Uh, we can join the Entente. Sure. Might as well at this point. Uh, France, get your ass over here, please. Uh, up here's the line. What are you guys doing back there? Get here. Yay. France has come to save us. As they call in all of their colonies and things. Like Tunisia. Let's look at Africa for a moment. There are German forces in Angola. I don't know if there are any German forces over here though. Dar es Salaam. So I'm going to tell my African forces, which are larger, to uh, actually make a front. Not that long. You guys can't make the front that long. There's only ten of you. Come on. Good at this shit. And let's just, uh, that's a giant lake over there, so let's ignore that. And tell them to go make an offensive line at, you know, you know Dar es Salaam. And uh, just take that. Go. Because uh, I could certainly use more of Africa. Leopold is happy. Well, let's see how the war is going. I mean, cloudy and a chance of shit show. Okay, production time. How many planes do I have? 14. Let's wait for a couple more. I'd like to have more than 14 airplanes, please. K 
Canada has joined the wars. We're saved, boys. Come on. Come on, France. Join us. France. France, what are you... France. Come on. Get in here. I'm sorry, sons of bitches. This seems to be a lend request from Italy. And they will give us some horse-drawn vehicles. I mean, for some reason I could use those. I would love to go for the Reorganization Act. Something about military factories, and yes please. The weather of France seems to be red, and the airplane scale levels. But I don't really give a tosh about northern France. I'm trying to make Belgium hold on. Come on, guys. Guys. I, I'm about to give even less of a toss about France. Okay, okay, I'll call off the assaults. You've disappointed me. No, nobody's just gonna get in there? France. France, what are you doing? France, stop. France, you're supposed to be helping me. This isn't helping. Also, the game is lagging severely because, well, uh, it's now having to think about an entire war now. So I'm gonna call off those assaults. Because they were going absolutely nowhere. Let's see, how many men have died in the first couple of weeks here? Oh, come on. I know I have casualties. 7,000 Belgians to only kill 290 Germans. Oh, jeez, that was a disaster. Let's uh, hold off on that one right there. What are you doing? You idiot, get in the line. Uh, some of our uh, sub-commanders are clearly getting a little overzealous. Although I swear I can punch a hole in Aachen right now. Let's give that a shot. No, nope, people are exhausted. France, if you don't attack Aachen, I'm going to scream. Really, guys? Nothing. No, let's hate Aachen. No, burst out up there. Nothing. There's Zeppelin's flying over Amsterdam, which keeps making me a little paranoid. Probably the intensive Zeppelins, after all. Ah, uh, we finally have 15 fighters. Yay. Fighters, you have a job. There's superiority and interception. And you know where. Good job, boys. That should do something. Also, while we're at it, let's get out of limited conscription and go to extensive conscription, because clearly we're going to need it. Anyway. That's been the first couple of weeks of World War One, and I'm going to call the episode right here. We're at war at last, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you all next time.